I am going to set up RAT. Um, it is the server manager I use. It just finished downloading. So I'm going to open it and it opens up to, well, it actually opens up the zip file itself. You can't really do anything with these. So I made a temporary folder called temp2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the files out of here. I'm going to drag them over here. And now when I close the browser, they don't just sort of disappear, which is what usually happens when you deal with downloads. So we have three icons. We have .NET FX 46, which is a folder which carries the .NET information stuff. I'll talk about that in a minute. The setup MSI and the regular setup. Um, .NET is a Microsoft collection of DLLs that programmers use to basically so they don't have to reinvent the wheel when they're writing things. They can just call upon the routines that are written in .NET and it applies for their uh, software. Everybody should have this installed. It comes from Microsoft's site. Um, I don't actually recommend installing his off of the one in his download because there's really no point, but I guess he's done it there as a convenience to allow people have ac to have access to it. One problem with it though is that that was version uh, 4.6 and there's already version 4.62 on Microsoft's site. So if I like to have the highest version of stuff. So I assume I've already had it installed on this computer. So I'm going to run RAT and see what happens. Welcome to RAT. Installer is going to guide me through. Click next. I always like to put it for everyone and I also like to get rid of the Nomad Soft stuff. That way then when I'm poking around in my program uh, files folder, I can uh, easily spot what it is and I'll have to sit there and wonder what the hell Nomad Soft is. But you can leave it the same and you can leave it just, just you. It doesn't make a difference. Click next. Next. It's being installed. Three, two, one. Okay, so I'm really terrible at guessing how long it takes to install stuff. Um, yes, okay, now that is it. Rat is installed. So I have a seven days that I write icon over here. I will pull up and I'm going to run Rat for the first time. I agree, did not show it at, uh, at startup. Agree, this is Rat. Now, um, it looks like it's almost ready to run, but remember we talked about that server config stuff and we talked about all those other options. Well, I can actually go ahead and change all that stuff in here. So here's my port. The name is going to be, let's see, guppy server. Password, I'm going to put it as ASDF. I'm not going to click this little key thing to show it. Website URL. Um, blank website that has no content yet. I don't really know the purpose of that yet, but um, I'm going to enable that telnet port. I'm going to put that as also, let's see, password I think is what I used. So basically what the, all this is going to do is, is a graphical way of editing that server config file that we saw earlier. Um, game settings, the game name is going to be guppy server. It's going to be random gen. Um, difficulty, make it the easiest. Zombies run, never run. Uh, player account, let's leave it at 16, safe zone, everything else looks good except for I don't like EAC. Change that to 24. Game settings 2. Um, enemy spawn mode, let's make it very high. Enemy difficulty, let's leave that normal. Drop on death, delete all. So he actually has that option 4 in here. Um, I'm sorry, let's drop on, yeah. Hmm, I should say delete nothing. I'll get him to change that. Uh, drop and quit, nothing. Okay, yeah, I guess I gotta change that. Um, backup restore, you can set up the backup. His name apparently is Troy, um, but I'm not gonna do enable backup. So basically what it'll do is it'll back up your game and you can restore your game from a certain point. Should somebody come in and grief it or should something bad happen, you can pull up the latest backup and restore your game to where it was at that time. Um, this bears mentioning right here, this server path part. Uh, this happens to be where I have my server uh, connected to, but you definitely want to make sure. Then now I'm going to write the config. And it says the unhandled exception, blah, 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 continued, because I couldn't find the path. Well, you know what? That's because I was wrong. It's not under CM games. So I'm going to click this icon here, and I'm going to go find out, find the folder for it. Steam. 
the maps common seven days to die server. Now that's correct. Now I'm going to write the config. So now it's written that config, right? So when I go here, when I look at my server config, you can tell he's actually rearranged it. Um, but now the server config file has um, all the settings I just put in. This is what the other one looked like. And this is what this one looks like. So you can see, you know, it looks a little different, but the properties are all the same. That's the only thing that counts. So now I can actually start my server. So um, let's see, I want to connect to, what did I call it? Passwords with ASDF, right? So I'm going to auto connect. I'm going to call it Guppy Server. And then I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go to Server Configuration and I'm going to start the server. So you can see I got a green light here, a green light here. When I look on Task Manager, I have the seven days to die server right here. So it works. My server's up and running. I can connect to it if I want to. I can pull information from it by going to the console and let me wait for a little bit, see if anything pops up. Um, but I'll have a list of players should anybody join, chat messages. I can set permissions for people for admins and to do certain commands. I can ban people. Um, I can set security with the global ban list that you get from Invol, which is the CBSM people. Um, I can whitelist certain people so that no matter what happens, all my other uh, settings are against them, they can still join. I have custom commands. You can see and report hello. Um, you can send messages. You can do all sorts of different stuff in here. I know there's other options. Uh, let's see, messages, email. Okay, so. Everything looks okay. All right, so it says please enter a password. So apparently my password is wrong. So I'm gonna go back to server settings, connections. My password was, oh, this password over here. So the password is actually password. This is my game password. This is my password to actually log into it. So I'm gonna save it. And now I'm gonna try it. And it should be in. Um, let's see, I'll disconnect, reconnect, go to my console, and boom, there's all my stuff. So I'm able to log in, and the server's running with a total of zero people in the game. Now I have a dedicated server running. What I don't have is I don't have Alex Fixes installed, so that's going to be in the next video.